Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Rajiv sir. We will be. We are already live on Facebook, and uh, welcome to <clears throat> Startup Change Leaders uh, Weekly Meeting. We uh, have chosen a very uh, apt topic today, uh, which is uh, how to find the right mentor for your startup. Now, often uh, <clears throat> it happens that uh, you don't have uh, uh, a clue uh, whether the mentor is going to be helpful for you uh, for uh, your startup journey or not. And uh, uh, many times uh, there are many questions in the minds of uh, startup uh, entrepreneurs uh, where uh, they don't uh, get the uh, immediate uh, uh, addresses addressal to or they don't get uh, the answer from uh, uh, anyone uh, in their circle and their friends or uh, whoever they are talking to so a uh, mentor is a person uh, who uh, actually uh, comes in uh, uh, very uh, handy uh, mentor uh, knows you uh, over a period of time you develop a relationship with the mentor and uh, uh, the mentor uh, has a pulse uh, about uh, your uh, uh, you know startup so uh, it is very very uh, important that uh, uh, so uh, we welcome to startup change leaders we have just uh, started the recording of this session uh, so uh, the topic uh, we are discussing is right mentor for your startup and uh, as I was mentioning, uh, it is very, very important that a mentor uh, has to be a uh, perfect fit because uh, if you choose a mentor, uh, uh, you know, uh, who's not perfectly fit for your uh, uh, organization or your uh, startup idea, uh, it will be very difficult to, uh, you know, cope up with and instead of becoming an asset for your uh, organization uh, you may have a challenge that uh, mentor is uh, uh, not uh, you know uh, giving you expected results so uh, uh, when as a startup uh, entrepreneur you are uh, uh, first of all it is very important to have a mentor in your journey and uh, it is very relevant that uh, you choose a mentor who has uh, that kind of uh, uh, you know, who, who contributes to your uh, success story, uh, who contributes to your growth journey, and uh, uh, who uh, actually gives you, uh, uh, becomes an asset for your organization and uh, gives you direction and uh, gives you um, a lot of uh, uh, support and becomes your support system. Now, um, the uh, finding of a perfect mentor uh, uh, is not very uh, easy uh, it's difficult but it is not impossible so um, you must have uh, a vision uh, to uh, look for the right person and today i'm going to give you some tips uh, which are going to be helpful uh, for you in finding the right mentor for yourself and uh, the uh, you know uh, this is very crucial uh, for the uh, uh, building the right foundation for your uh, startup and uh, because uh, the mentor becomes a very valuable resource for your growth and uh, uh, you know uh, if you um, are uh, you know having a mentor who is uh, um, not uh, you know uh, able to guide you on your day-to-day uh, -day challenges then uh, you may have a difficulty so uh, when you are choosing the mentor uh, you must uh, keep uh, certain uh, good aspects into mind uh, as to how you are going to uh, uh, choose the right fit for your uh, startup uh, you know the great mentors they understand the goal you have to consider uh, for yourself and they help you uh, uh, you know to to find uh, the right path for yourself and of course uh, uh, you know when you are finding the right mentor for you 
uh, you you must uh, uh, understand uh, uh, that uh, what are the qualities uh, that uh, mentor possesses and how uh, they are going to uh, you know be helpful uh, for your uh, business development activity for your uh, growth story uh, whether they are fully equipped uh, into the area which you are in and uh, <clears throat> you know what are the various uh, uh, you know vital aspects uh, which uh, the mentor should know uh, because you know your startup you know um, what are you uh, looking at you know your vision and mission so um, we we had a session on vision and mission as well so um, when you are very particular about your vision and mission then i think uh, choosing the right mentor uh, would not be a difficult thing for you because you have to align uh, uh, the person uh, with your vision and mission so that's where i think uh, we need to uh, be very clear uh, as to who should be uh, the right fit uh, or a right mentor for us and uh, when you are building a new business from scratch uh, there's a huge responsibility uh, and uh, you know sometimes the entrepreneurs uh, uh, you know uh, they lack the future uh, eye on the future uh, and uh, you know they they sometimes even don't appreciate whether uh, they need a mentor or not so um, first of all i think uh, uh, it is always recommended that you have a right uh, mentor working with you because uh, uh, that uh, enhances your uh, speed uh, of implementation that enhances your uh, speed of uh, uh, decision making that enhances your uh, power uh, to deal with uh, difficult situations or crisis and uh, no business is uh, you know uh, having uh, that foolproof uh, mechanism that uh, you you will not face any crisis or you will not face any challenge definitely there will be challenges and the mentors are the ones who actually uh, can uh, provide you that uh, uh, intellectual as well as emotional support which is required by the entrepreneurs in their startup journey so it is very very important that you choose the right mentor for you and uh, try and uh, you know uh, get into a space where uh, you are uh, giving that uh, uh, support uh, to the startup uh, uh, in which uh, you know uh, of course from mentor side and because i also do mentoring for a lot of startups i know uh, that uh, there is a huge responsibility uh, for the mentor also to uh, take care of the interest of the startup you need to uh, be very well uh, equipped as well as very well aware uh, how to provide uh, the uh, right kind of support uh, kindly mute yourself uh, vivek uh, so uh, you know that uh, kind of uh, you know support system uh, we need to uh, develop and also um, it is necessary to keep track of the purpose and objective of the business planning on bringing uh, which you are bringing into existence uh, uh, a well thought of uh, uh, business uh, and the startup uh, elaborated start startup idea can um, you know uh, give you a very clear picture as to who can be the right fit or right mentor for you now uh, let us look at what are the key traits we should uh, look in the uh, mentor when we are choosing the mentor for us um, now this is very very important i think all these points um, we as a startup uh, founders we should be clear as to uh, who can be the right person for us because that's very very critical because sometimes uh, you know uh, you uh, uh, mentorship and uh, the startup journey it's like a uh, uh, relationship so uh, uh, you cannot change your uh, uh, you know mentor every day uh, or uh, very frequently so it is very very important that you judge uh, that who is the right person for you 
so the problem solving uh, uh, you know uh, trait has to be uh, perfectly ingrained into the mentor so uh, as a startup you will find yourself uh, uh, in pool of problems as i said so unless you find a problem solver you won't be able to cope up a perfect startup mentor uh, needs to be a problem solver and uh, uh, clears the pool of difficulties uh, also uh, you know from uh, overcoming the barriers to helping create a better business the mentor understand the various possible pain points of your startup now <clears throat> uh, as i said uh, when you are uh, uh, commencing your startup journey right from the uh, you know what should be your uh, perfect vision what should be your perfect mission uh, what kind of market size is there uh, you need to uh, analyze that uh, perfectly also you should uh, actually uh, see that uh, the uh, you know uh, what is uh, the direction you are going to follow what is the business plan you are going to have what are the operational angles uh, which you have to uh, be aware of now all these uh, you know uh, doing all this uh, saying is easy but when you implement there there are always uh, uh, hundreds of challenges uh, which are thrown on to you now to uh, uh, you know handle those challenges uh, you need someone you you can talk to you need someone uh, who is a go to person for you uh, you need someone who knows your organization because you know if you suddenly go to someone you have to explain uh, your entire journey uh, to that person and they may you know give you some solution or not but a mentor is the one who is actually uh, becomes part of your journey so that person has to be experienced uh, person of course and a problem solver so uh, you need a person who is uh, uh, having that uh, uh, clear thought process who uh, gels with, uh, well with your uh, uh, business goals and who uh, actually um, uh, you know participates in uh, your uh, challenge uh, whatever you may be facing and gives you a solution because uh, many time people are there uh, to discuss the problems uh, but they keep on discussing the problem um, uh, they don't talk about solutions actually the best uh, mentor is who talks about the solutions and uh, that is where i think uh, the difference between uh, uh, a perfect uh, mentor and uh, a perfect uh, implementer comes uh, that uh, you need to actually um, be very clear about the solutions and uh, so uh, um, uh, the problem solving is the first trait uh, mentor should have the second very important trait uh, is uh, strong networking because uh, uh, when you are uh, entering into a particular business area uh, you may not be having that kind of network as uh, uh, your mentor may have so uh, uh, and in business we all know networking is very very important so uh, uh, a good mentor has to uh, put him or herself in your position earlier and has to become uh, uh, you know part of your uh, success story uh, he should have a strong network appropriate uh, uh, you know for the uh, startup ecosystem so uh, and since they are uh, there are so many now these days mentors who are full time into this they know the startup ecosystem they know the right kind of people they know uh, the go to people for uh, funding they go uh, know the go to people for uh, your merchant banking needs they also know uh, whom to approach uh, uh, in case uh, you have to go for grants uh, what are the grants which are there from the government of india uh, who are the right people where to go for uh, uh, you know these grants uh, and uh, even the process of uh, applying for these uh, uh, 
uh, support systems, even uh, uh, the various uh, schemes being offered uh, by the uh, banks and financial institutions, uh, the various uh, uh, you know funds who may be interested in uh, your kind of a business uh, and who may be interested in giving you equity support. So all this is uh, actually uh, uh, you know becomes easy if you have a right mentor working with you, because then, uh, you know, you don't have to search for the solutions. You don't have to Google solutions for you. And you have a, a navigator working with you uh, and uh, uh, the journey. Uh, I often give this example that uh, if you have to go to uh, a new place, uh, uh, you sometimes uh, follow the Google map because uh, uh, it becomes uh, all the more easy for you uh, to reach there faster. You will reach uh, if you, uh, uh, you know, adopt the other way uh, that, okay, I'm not going to follow the Google. I'm going to ask from some people and, oh, I will reach there. But uh, you may take long route. Uh, you may not uh, be, uh, you know, clear about the problems uh, you are going to face on the way. So better that you uh, adopt uh, a system where uh, you know you need to uh, have a proper navigator working with you and that navigator is none other than the mentor and uh, um, they also have a very strong uh, networking and uh, uh, they also uh, work with the good connections in the industry uh, and also, uh, they can leverage those uh, connections, um, you know, for you, for your startup. And uh, you can actually be uh, having a lot of uh, inputs from their uh, uh, strong uh, network. And these days, uh, you know, uh, there is a saying, your network is your net worth. No? So, uh, so you automatically get uh, a, a mentor uh, who provides uh, that plethora of uh, uh, networks to you uh, in terms of bringing in the network uh, uh, which they have. And, uh, you know, investors are likely to make uh, investments in your startup if uh, it is referred uh, from their uh, inner circle or a network. And a brilliant mentor helps you uh, in getting uh, strategic uh, potential customers and investors, uh, also in business uh, customer trials or something. Uh, so uh, you have uh, someone or a go-to person who uh, actually gives you uh, total support. Uh, so uh, um, that is where I think uh, the importance uh, of uh, the mentor comes in then uh, it is very very important that a mentor should have that uh, uh, entrepreneurial gene uh, with within him uh, or her uh, and uh, having a mentor who has been through the same process of creating a startup or leveraging it to success who understands the entrepreneurial activities and requirements uh, from validating your startup idea to getting money and steering the company uh, through the difficult times, a mentor with entrepreneurial background helps you uh, uh, handle the barriers that might come and foresee the possible uh, options to prevent, uh, uh, you know, uh, show you the pitfalls, actually. So uh, these days, uh, uh, you will find there are a lot of people uh, who call themselves uh, entrepreneurial coaches. Uh, so uh, if you can find someone who has the, uh, uh, you know, uh, that kind of entrepreneurial mindset, who has uh, been an entrepreneur himself or herself, or who has uh, actually, uh, uh, you know, handled uh, uh, entrepreneurial uh, journey himself, uh, uh, that person can actually be a very uh, perfect uh, mentor for you because uh, uh, that is something uh, because you are also new to a uh, lot of uh, entrepreneurial challenges. So if there is somebody who can actually validate your ideas, who can actually guide you, who can tell you whether you are going the right path or not, 
and who can actually uh, uh, make things easy for you. Because if you, uh, you know, uh, are moving towards the wrong direction or you are over speeding or you are, uh, uh, you know, likely to fall into a trap, uh, they will tell you in advance. So uh, that will save you a lot of money or a lot of uh, effort and time as well. Because uh, if you fall into the trap or uh, go into any pit, uh, uh, you have a pitfall, uh, you may not, uh, you will take a lot of time to retrieve and come back. So uh, it is very, very important that you have uh, somebody who uh, actually uh, has uh, seen the entrepreneurial journey uh, themselves and they can actually tell you um, which way to go, what to do, what not to do. And uh, of course, they are the guides. They, they can only tell you uh, uh, what is the right way. They will not be able to, uh, you know, handhold you. But uh, uh, so uh, that entrepreneurial zeal or entrepreneurship, uh, when you are looking for the right fit mentor, uh, you should definitely check out uh, what is their uh, what are their credentials? Have they worked in some corporates or uh, have already got some uh, entrepreneurial uh, uh, background? And uh, they can be the best mentors for you if they have all that. Uh, knowledge. Knowledge, of course, uh, you know, um, as a startup mentor, it is essential uh, for him or her to know about the industry vertical uh, where the startup belongs. So um, if you are supposed into an agriculture startup, so a person who is already aware about the agriculture um, schemes, uh, who has the knowledge about the agri-industry, uh, may be the perfect fit went, uh, mentor for you. So um, uh, it is very, very important that uh, you pick up the uh, right fit uh, for yourself. and. Um, you uh, must get a mentor uh, who gives, uh, uh, you know, generic ideas and advice uh, and uh, who can actually uh, help you uh, deal with the uh, difficulties. Uh, so uh, although for having a start, a perfect startup mentor, it is advised to have someone who is from the same industry, uh, who uh, is from the same vertical as well. So that help you uh, learning the nuances of the business in different natures of the market. And uh, also uh, uh, you can, your process can be validated and uh, your uh, innovation you are doing, uh, that also uh, uh, that mentor can actually um, help you handle uh, that situation uh, more perfectly. So it is very, very important that uh, you uh, have someone who is from the similar industry uh, uh, who has the knowledge about the industry so you are not reinventing the wheel uh, all the time and uh, they can actually uh, put you in the right uh, direction and give you a right kind of inputs uh, for uh, your entrepreneurial journey so um, so these are the qualities which we discussed. Uh, uh, let's, uh, uh, so one, problem solver. Second, strong networking. Third, entrepreneurship. And he should, he or she should be knowledgeable enough. Now, uh, uh, these are the qualities we discussed. Now, let us look at what are the uh, uh, seven ways to find the right uh, uh, startup mentor and uh, uh, what we should uh, definitely do uh, to uh, you know uh, have those uh, uh, have that uh, mentor uh, working with us you know so uh, uh, you know uh, if you uh, uh, ask me what are the seven ways to find the right startup mentor one uh, they must understand or discern your needs uh, so everyone looks for a mentor who help themselves grow and uh, uh, but uh, sometimes they often end up on the wrong side when choosing the perfect startup mentor. So before looking out for a mentor, it is essential to learn the needs. Uh, what are your needs? Uh, uh, and uh, you, uh, your needs will guide you to the best mentor. So it is very crucial for you to know 
uh, what you require from a mentor. No, so uh, many a times we 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 are not very clear ourselves uh, as to uh, who can be the best uh, mentor for us. So uh, it is very very important that uh, uh, you should be clear about your needs, uh, what you are looking at, what are your uh, main uh, requirements for uh, from the mentor, and uh, also uh, you know you should. Uh, 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 you know, have a clear understanding about it. And uh, unless you understand your requirements, finding the right uh, mentor will definitely be difficult. So you need to figure out uh, by asking yourself questions based on your requirements. And uh, uh, that can be uh, uh, done uh, with ease uh, by a mentor. Then, um, uh, as we discussed, you need to find someone from the same industry. So uh, uh, when, as an entrepreneur, you are searching for a startup mentor, uh, forget to, uh, you know, you don't forget to look at the industry vertical. You need to have, uh, uh, you know, person who is uh, kind of a, uh, from the same industry. Having a mentor from the same industry means uh, he or she knows the business problems, uh, difficulties and challenges, and uh, can give you best possible solutions. So uh, I think uh, this is uh, again uh, very very critical uh, for us to uh, know that uh, you know uh, who can be the real uh, problem solver for us. So if the person is from the same industry. Um, that can be a very powerful uh, thing for you. And, uh, um, uh, you know, the uh, mentor who has walked the path earlier knows about the port, uh, portfolios, as I said, uh, and that are ahead and guides you through it. And uh, uh, they will encourage you to uh, take a proper uh, solution or take a proper uh, recourse uh, for, and they know, uh, uh, the startup business ecosystem so they can actually uh, guide you uh, through uh, this uh, uh, process so um, uh, i can take a halt here for uh, some questions i think let's make it more interactive whatever we have discussed so far any questions from this oh hello rajiv yeah. ji yeah hi rajesh yeah, so suppose mentor from the same industry means suppose I'm working in software and I want to get into agriculture. Uh, so I should look into the mentor from the agriculture industry. Absolutely. So person who, uh, uh, you know, I give you the example, if somebody, uh, you know, knows the agriculture industry or has actually done uh, uh, something in uh, agriculture space, so that the mentor can actually be a, a very good guide for you because they know the business. They know uh, uh, what are the uh, processes, business processes and all. So uh, that is always helpful. Uh, and also it depends on the purpose, uh, what you are uh, uh, you know, looking at. Suppose you are looking for funding. So you uh, better have a, a guy who has that financial background, right? Uh, so, uh, so it it really depends uh, what kind of purpose you have for finding the right fit mentor. But yes, as you said, um, uh, if uh, a guy is already from the agriculture and you are not from agriculture background, uh, as far as uh, I know, so uh, uh, you know it is always better to have somebody who is coming from that industry in which you are trying to uh, go in for a startup. Thank you, Rajivji. And how can, uh, will that be covered later? How can we find them? Yeah, yeah, that is what we are discussing. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, two uh, aspects we already discussed, but uh, yes, I will I will cover that part uh, uh, more in detail and then uh, we can maybe discuss more about it. Yeah. So Any other example, question? Yeah. yeah. In case of agriculture, so uh, uh, it's a different, uh, um, industry so we should uh, uh, to find them we should go to uh, attend all agri startup events uh, yeah all those correct yes yes knowledge about your domain area whatever business you are trying to do 
is very important and critical. So it is very, very uh, uh, important that uh, you uh, gather knowledge uh, about uh, whatever business you are trying to do. And uh, sometimes uh, uh, innovation uh, in a particular area, we, we have lots of ideas about uh, uh, some innovations we want to do. But uh, you get business ideas, you get operational, uh, uh, you know, implementable ideas, you know, uh, what is the best uh, CRM uh, uh, tool for me? What is the best, uh, uh, you know, uh, implementation, implementable uh, ERP system for me uh, for managing my, uh, you know, business? So uh, all those uh, uh, things you get uh, from uh, by attending all these events where uh, all these knowledge seminars and uh, uh, people who are uh, in this industry, they can guide you better. Uh, whom to approach, uh, uh, you know, what to do, how to prepare your uh, pitch deck, how to prepare your business plan, how to uh, present yourself uh, to the potential investors uh, in a perfect way. So all those uh, things matter a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions from anyone? Okay, we move forward. Uh, uh, now, uh, we have discussed already two ways uh, to find the right mentor. Uh, third, I think the most important thing is uh, your mentor has to be a good listener. Because, uh, you know, uh, if the mentor, uh, it is, uh, you know, for coaches also, uh, it is often uh, said that the coach has to be a good listener. Uh, because unless you are a good listener, you may not be able to give that kind of uh, uh, perfect solution to uh, the, uh, uh, you know, uh, to uh, the uh, mentee or uh, the person who is taking your services. So uh, uh, having a mentor with excellent listening skills is like, like sharing half of your worries and stress. Uh, so uh, you, you often have challenges and uh, uh, stress uh, coming from different uh, quarters uh, in your business. But uh, when you find a startup mentor who listens to all your queries uh, and uh, is pinpointing all that is essential, it helps a lot in the growth of your company. And also, you need to choose a mentor that not only directs you to the right path, but also uh, questions your mind at instances uh, uh, necessary because uh, you know um, a mentor has to uh, you know uh, question you for uh, what you are thinking is correct why you are thinking uh, if you are making a strategy why uh, you have this uh, strategy uh, what is your uh, uh, you know thought process behind uh, choosing that strategy uh, what are your uh, long term plans uh, uh, to look at uh, that aspect, no. So all this, uh, you know, uh, sometimes uh, you have this in your mind, but uh, mentor is the one uh, who can actually bring out the best in you. And uh, they by sometimes asking you pointed questions, uh, asking you pointed uh, uh, references, uh, uh, asking you from where you have got this data, uh, what is the uh, you know uh, thought process behind this? Uh, they will definitely uh, give you a, a different kind of a boost. So uh, I think uh, 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 my mentor is always uh, giving you a reality check uh, whenever required. So they know uh, you know uh, at what stage you require uh, what kind of support. So uh, that is where uh, a good listener. Uh, comes in very handy because mentor has to be a good listener because uh, sometimes you know we find uh, some people they try to push their uh, um, agenda on the others in the company they don't listen to uh, the people around them they just want to uh, implement their own ideas no that's not good leadership that's not good uh, um, mentor uh, trait uh, because um, as a mentor um, 
if you are looking for the right mentor, uh, a good listener is very, very important. So uh, whenever you are choosing a mentor for yourself, try to find someone who has that patience to listen to you, who has that patience to uh, uh, understand uh, you and your challenges, and then who, who can uh, you know, help you and guide you in uh, managing those uh, challenges. Uh, so a startup mentor that listens uh, to your challenges, trends and ideas and gets uh, you the best advice to scale your business is the best for you. So uh, the best possible way to find a mentor with superior listening skills is by having a meeting with him or her. You can direct, uh, directly get the perspective and uh, uh, from the conversation you have with them, you can understand uh, whether this guy is going to listen to me or not. Uh, and, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, that is where I think uh, you will get the right perspective uh, as to, uh, uh, you know. So when you are looking for a mentor, you are looking for help, you are looking for support, you are looking for guidance and advice. No? So uh, uh, this is where I think uh, you should be very clear uh, as to what you want from your mentor and uh, uh, if a person has all those skills uh, which you are looking at then uh, you found the right fit then you don't have to worry uh, but uh, if that person doesn't have uh, the uh, you know basic uh, trait of listening to you then uh, you had it no so it is better that you choose uh, someone who listens to you, who has uh, that capacity to uh, understand you and uh, guide you properly. Then uh, I think the most important uh, thing is a proven track record in the past uh, because uh, uh, a startup mentor helps uh, you further your business goals. So uh, a mentor with a proven track record uh, and uh, in history are more likely to help you uh, having someone uh, experienced or, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, a person who is having only theoretical knowledge won't work. No? So, uh, you know, a, a mentor who has uh, already handled the situation uh, can uh, visualize your pain points, can visualize um, uh, what are you uh, struggling with, they can actually visualize and uh, uh, you know uh, give you that kind of support uh, which you may be looking at and uh, that is where i think uh, you should focus on uh, the right uh, set of mentors who uh, can uh, uh, give you uh, that kind of uh, uh, you know from their experience they can guide you perfectly and uh, they can give you uh, whatever support you are looking at. Uh, of course, uh, fills the missing skill sets. Now, this is again very, very important. If you are a technology guy, you may not be looking at a mentor who is a techie, no? Um, because uh, you know technology, right? Uh, of course, for validation of your idea, uh, it may be helpful uh, that uh, another techie can tell you, but sometimes <laughs> other techie can confuse you as well. No, uh, so it is it is up to you uh, to evaluate uh, that aspect. But if you are a techie uh, and you lack uh, uh, commercial knowledge, you lack the knowledge about uh, implementing your ideas on ground, you lack the knowledge about the uh, financial restructuring, you lack the knowledge about the business planning. So uh, in that case, it is better that you have uh, a mentor who is filling in your missing skill sets, you know, uh, who may be, uh, you know, uh, giving you uh, a different uh, uh, perspective uh, in the areas in which you don't have those skills, right? So um, if a mentor is missing, uh, filling in your missing skill sets, that's a very, very big advantage. Uh, and uh, I think that is... Uh, Another uh, aspect you should look at when you are looking for the right mentor. Uh, so, um, you know, he should uh, fill, he, she should fill your uh, uh, missing skill sets. Choosing uh, a startup mentor who's like 
you will not help you uh, in learning those missing skills. So it is better to find a mentor who solves the puzzle uh, uh, with his or her skill sets. And uh, uh, the benefits uh, of it are usually uh, that you are learning new skills, uh, different viewpoints, and better perception about uh, uh, your uh, business. And uh, also, uh, you know, uh, you get a different viewpoint um, and uh, you can uh, scale high with your startup uh, with uh, such kind of a mentor who brings in a different perspective. So it is always better uh, to have someone who fills up uh, the missing uh, skill sets. And uh, that is where I think uh, uh, it can be a very uh, useful thing for you. Now, uh, the other aspect is uh, evaluation of your ideas. So, uh, when you are starting uh, uh, in, or venturing into a new uh, business or a new startup, you, uh, your idea itself needs to be validated well. If your idea is not validated well, uh, then you had it, right? So, uh, uh, you know, a mentor who agrees that, uh, uh, you know, mm, uh, with every idea uh, is, is not a good mentor, uh, so to say. Uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, you should look for a person who evaluates your idea, uh, a perfect startup mentor who can help you scale high and who questions your ideas and plans. Uh, he should tell your ideas are futile if uh, when it is necessary. If you are wrong, he needs to say uh, that you are not right, you are wrong, and you don't need a mentor to whom you can uh, have uh, baseless uh, conversations and uh, you need someone who help you grow uh, with the conversation you will have with him or her. Uh, so uh, you, you need a, a person who is uh, uh, having uh, those uh, skill sets, who evaluates your ideas and who uh, can uh, uh, you know, put you in the right perspective. Uh, a yes man is not required as a mentor. <laughs> a mentor is never a yes man. Mentor is always, uh, you know, questioning your actions. Mentor is always questioning your uh, uh, deeds uh, and uh, uh, setting you uh, in the right, uh, uh, you know, giving you right perspective. And that is where I think as a mentor, uh, you should uh, uh, look at a, a person who, who can uh, be, um, you know, very uh, positive uh, in terms of uh, uh, delivering uh, the results and uh, uh, should not uh, ask baseless, uh, uh, you know, things and uh, should not uh, do any baseless activities. So a mentor has to uh, be a person who evaluates your ideas, who goes deep into your ideas, who actually, um, you know, um, always uh, is trying to question you uh, on various uh, uh, new ideas and uh, then gives you advice. No? So uh, uh, that is uh, where it's not that mentor is trying to stop you from implementing your ideas. No, we are not talking about that. We need a person who actually uh, questions you and also gives you solutions maybe, right? So uh, uh, that is where I think the mentor uh, a good mentor uh, comes in and also uh, they should have similar core values you no know? because uh, if your value system and the value system of a mentor don't match then you had it you know? so uh, a mentor is the one who uh, uh, you know uh, who is a market man and business uh, as a startup owner you need to choose a mentor who has the same core values as yours uh, it doesn't work if the mentor uh, has, uh, there is a different uh, difference of opinion or a different core values. Uh, and let me tell you, uh, these days, uh, uh, you know, sometimes uh, the way you are running your business, the, uh, uh, the way you are taking looking at the compliances, the way you are actually uh, recording your uh, uh, business transactions, um, there are uh, so many examples of uh, 
big startups uh, uh, you know getting into great transactions i don't want to name uh, many of them are there uh, we all know what's happening in the startup industry so uh, you know uh, if uh, they would have got a good mentor who would have told them that these kind of transactions will land you in trouble later um, they would have uh, may not have done it right so uh, uh, the uh, these days uh, the international investors also look at uh, uh, compliances look at the management decisions look at the uh, the way you are uh, managing your startup uh, and uh, what kind of leadership you are showing uh, so uh, that uh, you know uh, those core values that value system uh, should be uh, uh, also uh, given by the uh, you know mentor so similar uh, uh, skill sets similar uh, uh, you know uh, powerful uh, uh, support system uh, the mentor should give you and uh, they should um, it is essential that uh, you have a mentor who believes in uh, your goals as much as you because if that belief is not there then uh, you may not be having uh, that kind of performance so uh, you need a mentor who uh, has a belief in your uh, system who believes in you who believes in uh, delivering uh, the best uh, to you and um, uh, you steer your project together with him or her and uh, uh, so finding a mentor is difficult unless you apply the methods above uh, it is very uh, tricky at times uh, you may get a uh, handful of unsuitable mentors before you win and find the perfect startup mentor so uh, let us uh, quickly uh, review what uh, the seven uh, uh, ways to find the right mentor one uh, who who must understand your needs uh, find someone from the same industry look at the uh, person who is a good listener uh, so that's a very very critical uh, personality trait uh, must have a proven track record uh, in the past uh, who fills your missing skill sets now this is again very very important because uh, if you are a commercial guy uh, and having a commercial mentor may be uh, you know doing it too much uh, but uh, if you are commercial guy and you lack uh, knowledge about technology uh, having a mentor who knows uh, technology or is a techie uh, can be a very helpful thing, right? And um, the mentor who evaluates your ideas and should have similar core values. Um, that is where I think uh, the key lies. So uh, uh, I halt here again uh, for uh, uh, let's have a more uh, interaction about and uh, how we should uh, choose uh, the right mentor. Uh, any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Ajish, you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To uh, continue with the earlier uh, question, like, uh, uh, like uh, I am in technology and I want to get into uh, agriculture uh, uh, venture. So mm -hmm. how can I just find a mentor in that uh, venture? <clears throat> See, uh, Ajish, there are, uh, uh, you know, uh, these days, uh, even on Startup India uh, website, if you go, you will find, uh, uh, you know, industry specific uh, mentors listed there. So uh, there must be uh, mentors who are uh, good at uh, agri space who has uh, who have worked in agriculture uh, uh, as a startup uh, mentor earlier and who are already working uh, and guiding some other agri based companies but um, uh, sometimes uh, it is uh, uh, important that uh, you need to protect your uh, uh, you know critical information also uh, so it really depends uh, uh, what kind of uh, agriculture project you are thinking and uh, if you have someone who has uh, expertise in this area, who has a knowledge in this area, uh, you you should uh, always uh, go for that. 
and uh, uh, these days uh, all mentors uh, have uh, um, uh, you know uh, on their linkedin profile is also comes in very handy because you can see for yourself uh, what kind of uh, accomplishments they have done in the past where they worked what is their background uh, have they already helped some agriculture based uh, startups or not uh, all that is uh, uh, you know uh, very very uh, helpful and uh, also uh, even uh, these days uh, uh, state governments uh, all state governments have uh, uh, their own uh, startup ecosystem and startup uh, support system so um, you can even uh, whatever place you are willing to uh, going to start your agriculture business uh, you can look at uh, you know that uh, uh, you know area um, uh, who is the right mentor available because it is also very important that the mentor should be accessible to you right so uh, in agri uh, sometimes uh, you have to go inspect uh, I'm not sure what kind of agriculture, what kind of, uh, if I may ask, Adish, uh, agriculture uh, startup like, you are thinking? Yeah, like plantation, like coconut or coffee or. Yeah, yeah. So it might uh, require visiting the uh, uh, site, looking at uh, the fertility of the land, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, inspecting uh, uh, those things uh, physically. So it is better to have uh, someone who is uh, accessible also uh, uh, in the same area. And, uh, uh, but these days the technology is there. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, if it has to be just advisory positioning, then of course, uh, anybody, uh, even a mentor sitting in Mumbai can be helpful or Bangalore can be helpful. Uh, so it, it, it really depends, but yes, uh, um, you know, for example, I work with uh, a lot of uh, healthcare uh, companies these days. So I have developed a niche uh, for myself uh, that I'm uh, into healthcare space. But it's not that I'm restricted to healthcare. I have, uh, uh, you know, interests in uh, other areas as well. But uh, uh, the point is, um, if uh, a mentor has a knowledge about uh, whatever area you are selecting, uh, that person can be very useful because uh, that person can give you lots of inputs uh, which you may not be knowing, right? So that's the purpose of uh, uh, mentorship that uh, you uh, get a, a guide who can actually, uh, you know, uh, give you uh, important tips for your business. So, um, and these days, uh, government of India also in the recent budget uh, announced many, uh, uh, you know, uh, additional incentives for startups who are going to be in agriculture space. So, uh, uh, you know, be aware of that and uh, study about it. And uh, I'm sure uh, you can find a good mentor. Otherwise, I'll be there to help you uh, in this. Yeah. Thank you, Rajiv. Thank you. Any other question? So our other friends uh, today, uh, uh, Keshav uh, Kailashi is already, I think, I think Keshav is, uh, and Mr. Jitendra Mangal. Mangal. So uh, join the uh, group. Uh, we have a WhatsApp group also, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, called uh, Startup Change Leaders. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, I share my, uh, in the chat uh, window, my number is 9811453353. So do ping in uh, your uh, details to me. I'll add you to the group so that you get uh, regular updates about uh, our uh, weekly uh, programs, which uh, we, we have. And uh, uh, let's... Uh, be in touch. Uh, anybody with the, any last question so before we close? Like, for example, how can we ask them, like, uh, will you be my mentor? Is there any other way to put it to them in a different way? Uh, see, um, let me tell you, uh, the people who are interested in uh, giving mentorship services, uh, uh, one, they are uh, uh, one startup India, they are registered mentors available. 
right and uh, uh, there are uh, people who are uh, uh, even on linkedin uh, they are uh, saying that okay they want to be mentor uh, uh, for the startup and um, otherwise uh, if you know someone uh, in that particular ecosystem uh, you are uh, and then uh, there are various incubators and uh, uh, atal innovation mission uh, centers uh, who are helping the startup uh, grow. Um, uh, so you can uh, even get in touch with uh, those uh, uh, incubators and accelerators. Uh, so they have a battery of uh, mentors. Uh, uh, so they can even uh, guide you. Uh, for example, uh, I was, uh, I'm actually myself working on a startup uh, on EV space. So uh, uh, we, we uh, got in touch with uh, 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 accelerator now uh, and uh, you know so uh, they uh, suggested a mentor to us who is uh, expert in EV space you know? so uh, sometimes you get very good references and then you need to uh, have a conversation with them you need to uh, have um, uh, you know uh, uh, you know start talking to them and uh, you need to be very careful also uh, while choosing the mentor as we discussed. Uh, but uh, from few conversations, you will be able to find out uh, who can be the uh, right mentor for you. And uh, then you can take it forward uh, from there. Um, so um, if you want uh, them to actively participate in your business and the business idea, um, you can, uh, uh, strike a conversation with them uh, and even offer them uh, some uh, equity in your project so they have uh, uh, skin in the game. Uh, uh, sometimes the mentors, they themselves invest also in the startup. Uh, so you can take them as, uh, uh, you know, a co-investor or uh, just give them uh, equity so that they are always interested in the growth of uh, the startup so uh, that's the way it works you know? so it really depends how uh, you uh, kind of uh, negotiate with them how you uh, you know talk to them and um, you know how much value they can bring in because um, if uh, uh, they can bring in a lot of value uh, then uh, you you can always uh, uh, be uh, you know uh, your your startup can uh, actually flourish because of that mentor. You know sometimes uh, these big influencers uh, their name itself uh, sells. You no, know? so if uh, you got uh, for example uh, uh, a big uh, uh, agriculturist for example or uh, a big uh, person from a particular industry or in agri industry there are so many big names uh, suppose uh, there is a head of uh, uh, some agriculture university uh, who uh, is uh, uh, who becomes interested in your project so they have uh, that kind of a brand value as well no because people know them and uh, as i mentioned network is very important so uh, they can you can leverage their network for your advantage so uh, all those aspects you need to look at uh, for choosing the right mentor. Thank you, Rajiju. Thank you, everyone. Uh, so uh, we had a good interaction and uh, uh, do tune in. And uh, those who join uh, us for the first time, uh, do ping me our uh, details. Uh, I'll uh, make you add to the community. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, Thanks for the wonderful session. Thanks for the wonderful session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kailashi. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.